Hi, welcome to Educator.com and another lesson in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Today we're going to talk about data, which is probably the last thing you probably would want to talk about in a drawing program or ever thought you would talk about in a drawing program. But here it is. So let's see uh, what's going on here. Okay, so you have different data variables that you can use. Now, um, the window for variables is not available in the essentials. Uh, if I go to automation, then the variable windows appear. Of course, since I only have one screen right now, I lose a lot of screen real estate. So we'll just keep it at essentials for now and we'll just pull the window up from here. So windows and variables. Okay, now. There are many different types of variables that you, you can use. And variable simply is information uh, that you're going to change on a document or a template. So, and, you can def and you can define the variables uh, in different ways. Um, and the document could be anything, because uh, it's just a file, basically. So whether it's a banner, ad, um, a business card, stationery, a flyer, uh, whatever, a mailer. You know, there's certain information that you may want to stay the same and others you want to vary, hence the term variables. So here are the different variables that you have can use. So uh, you can make the text dynamic, and by that dynamic meaning that it's going to change. I can make a link, because this is a linked file, I can make that dynamic. Here's a graph, which I can also make dynamic. And then here's an object, and you probably think I can make the object dynamic. Nope, 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 that's not the case. I can only make it visible. I can make the visibility dynamic, so I can make it visible or invisible. Okay, so those are the different types of data variables. Okay, so let's talk about data set. A data set is what appears inside the variable. and um, I've opened up a card here, a business card for my company, and I uh, have that as a variable, the first and last name of employees, and the phone numbers. And you can set as many variables as you want. Uh, it could be address, um, uh, websites. Also, I mean, this can be a thousand cards, this can be a hundred cards. You know, that they don't really know what the upper limit is for this. So you can set as many variables as you want in the document. All right, so I have my uh, first uh, last name selected, so I'm going to make that text dynamic, because that's what I want to change. And the phone number, same thing. So you see, here you see variable one is the first and last name, and this could be anything. It's just picking up what I typed here, but really this is just setting um, the type style and the type size. So it's picking up all the attributes from that uh, type. And the same here for phone number. Okay, so variable one and variable two aren't all that descriptive. So let me change the names of those. And I'm going to change this to name and variable two to phone. OK. Now from here, I can save this as a variable library and then use this as the basis to set up um, all the other names that I want to, want to change.